welcome all of you to this video. In the previous video, we learned to find the area of rhombus. Going forward, today we will learn to find the area of a polygon. A teacher asks this question in class. A tile looks something like this. Can you find its area? The visible figure is a heptagon because the figure has seven sides. Let's first name the tiles as A, B, C, D, E, F and G. A student of the class, Sonu, solved this question in this way. He made the diagonals of this heptagon from the vertex A. And by doing so, he got five triangles. He thinks that why not take the sum of the area of all these triangles which will be equal to the area of heptagon. Let's say that the measurements of these seven triangles are as follows. According to which, by calculating something like this, he finds the area of heptagon which is 30.5 square centimeter. Another student of the class, Seema, solves this question in this way. Seema thinks that the vertex G must be connected to vertices D and C. So we get one triangle and two trapeziums. Suppose its measurements are as follows. With the help of which, by adding the sum of areas, we get the area of the heptagon as 30.5 You can see here that the area of the heptagon is the same in both cases. Thus, by dividing the polygon into its parts, whose formula for the area is known, one can get the area of the entire polygon. Here we discussed two situations and the area of polygon will be equal in both the cases. Similarly, can you find the area of a pentagon or hexagon? Think, think. Perfect. The pentagon is thus divided into three triangles or its area can be found by dividing it into a triangle and a quadrilateral. And the hexagon is thus divided into four triangles or one can find its area by dividing it into two triangles and a quadrilateral. You can also divide the hexagon in another position and find its area. Today in this video, we learned to find the area of a polygon. In the next video, we will see an example based on this.